You know, it's a shame that my video cuts off like that. God. Come on, distract him with one of Yuna's Aeons. Okay, why? Come on, guys, use your brains. Yuna can just summon one of her Aeons and just distract him for you. Come on, don't. Come on, don't shoot that thing. Come on. Come on, guys. Don't be stupid. Use an Aeon. You don't have to. Get, you don't even have to put yourself in jeopardy like this. Jeez. Alright, it's battle time. Let's see, who are you fighting? The fighting is Fleas. Yes, we are fighting since Fleas. You know you're badass when you have, you're, even your Fleas can attack you. Jeez. Alright. Let's see what we're gonna do. You know, the to attack this thing. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This part of the game actually can do a lot of leveling up because each time you defeat three of these fleas, what where they call again? Oh, that. Okay, they're called the uh, sin scale. Each one, time you defeat one of these sin scale, you know they start respawning. So you defeat three of them, three of them come back again. So you can actually level up all your characters pretty quickly in this level, or this mini boss. Okay, you know, hit them with all you got. Damn! Damn, you know you've been working out. Okay, Kamari, finish him off for me. Let's see. I'm gonna have Ty switch out with the uh, Raka, and we're gonna defeat this one. Damn, Raka, why are you so weak? Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna do thunder on his ass. Come on, Lulu. Oh, damn, Waka, well, even Lulu does more damage than you. Alright. Yeah, so, anyways, I'm just gonna go defeat, like, Twelve of these guys first because I want to level up all my characters. But you know, I'll just tell a little story about. I don't know. While I'm defeating these guys, I'll just tell a little bit of a story about my past. Let's see. Oh yeah, guys. I used to take like Tang Soo Do lessons back at. I let me think about it. I think it was about two or three years ago since I stopped. But you know, I used to take like a bunch of Taekwondo. I mean, Tang Soo Do lessons. And you know, if you, any of you guys don't know what Tang Soo Do is, it's like similar to Taekwondo. So, anyways, I was doing that for a few years, and then uh, let's see. Most of the time we did like a bunch of like bunch of soft sparring, like you can't even hit anybody really hard because you know, they, they were like, Oh you're hitting too hard, you shouldn't beat up kids like that and you know, sometimes men had to fight women too. And you know, there was a bunch of other crap you had to deal with, but I think one of the few times I actually did full contact sparring in Tung Sudo was like when I was sixteen, which was about four years ago. So anyways, when I was doing hard contact sparring, that's when we were preparing with the match for Texas. Like some Texas guys were come, were gonna come over, so we were, it was like, you know, Louisiana versus Texas match. And you know, those guys were taking it seriously. We were doing like 
full contact, like, almost every single classmate for like two weeks. And you know, I really liked hard contact. It was a pretty good experience. You know, hard contact... You know, hard contact is actually pretty fun. You know, you don't have to worry about holding back your punches or anything. But you know, when the thing that sucks the most is when I see guys... The thing the most that sucks is when I see guys, like, they just treat like a, like a street fighter or something. Like, they don't even throw any kicks. They just throw wild haymakers and stuff. And they... When in full contact sparring, I'm like, dude, where'd you learn your Tung Su Do from? What were all those years you're training for? You're just fighting like, you know, like you're in middle school or something. Anyways, there was this one match, like, we were in the uh, Tung Su Do dojo and stuff, and these Texas guys came over. And then I was like, Oh yeah, we had to go outside for this too, and everyone was laying out a completely flat mat. And, you know, th that mat was high as fuck, because when, when you stepped on it, my feet were like blistered and stuff from it. I was getting sunburned on my feet. So there was this one guy who chose me as his opponent. And, you know, every it was like a 5 on 5 match. And, you know, whoever got the most points, basically, if you could knock the other person out, you know, they stopped the match immediately, but, you know, what what they were really counting for is how many hits you got in. So, anyways, I was having this nice match with somebody, and, you know, we were just duking it out. You know, I was punching... I was punching him and stuff, and you know, he threw a sidekick at me, then I was like, then I just threw a bunch of punches at him, and then he, uh, let's see, I saw he got hurt, so I like, I like backed away a little bit, but then, you know, I, I remember, then my karate teacher was like, what are you doing, dude, keep going, so you know, I just kept punching and stuff, and you know, when I start punching, I don't stop, I, you know, I just keep going. So let's see what else happened. Uh, oh yeah, so I kept punching him. Then, like in the second round, I was like tired as shit. I, 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 my adrenaline was just pumping. I even had a cut lip, and my corner was like blowing water in my face. And it was like, "Are you okay, Johnny?" And I said, "Yes, sir." And he was like, "Don't, don't talk, don't talk, man. Save your breath for the fight." So he, you know, he just blew water in my face, and then I went back to the spar. Well, actually, it wasn't actually as far as like a match. So, anyways, I went back to the match, and I threw like a front kick, and then he went down on the floor screaming, "Ah!" You know, it was like grabbing his midsection, and you know, you know, everybody was really excited because you know that stopped the match. But you know, it kind of sucked because he drove all the way to Texas for this match, and they had to go back with like an injury and stuff. It really sucked for him. But you know, in the end, we all won, and I saw these two big guys on my team, they were fighting, and they all they did was throw punches, you know. I was like, dude, what's all that training for? They were like third degree black belts, they were just throwing punches. I was like, shit guys, can you throw any kicks or something? Like, mix it up? Damn. I think the only two people I thought actually fought pretty well were the second degree black belts. Like, they actually seemed to know what they were doing, because they had a lot of tournament experience, so they weren't just throwing wild haymakers or anything. They were, like, you know, pacing back and forth, you know, controlling the distance, how you're supposed to fight, but, you know, you can't expect too much out of people. You know, you just gotta concentrate on yourself and what you do. Okay, guys, I really gotta finish this matchup. This is getting real old. This is getting real old. Okay, let me switch characters. I'll summon Yuna. Okay, I'll just go summon my Aeon. Leon!